Yeah, good in tag. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Uh, yeah, I'm on a BMW. Can you believe it? Yeah, mirror all well motorcycles. Yeah, got this uh, GT, they're trying to make me all German and, and that. Yeah, so I'd come and give it a go. Obviously, a mid sized tourer. It's, I've got to say, I'm just sat on it and it's dead comfy. Fairly basic stuff, but it's got a few electronic gadgets. It's got rain modes and information and stuff like that. You know, BMW. This is uh, 2018, I think. Look at that. Oval clocks. Two oval clocks on top of each other and a square one. Oh, I see you just spoilt for choice. If you like digital, you've got that. Uh, round uh, brake reservoir though. No watch. Don't need it. You've got a clock. Yeah, marvellous. So, here we go. German technology, everything like that. Let's go. Marvellous. Yeah, so, uh, usual shenanigans. Going to go for a ride round. Uh, bit on the A14 uh, Suffolk Road see how we get on got to beat all this traffic going that first yeah marvellous so no quick shift or anything like that on it bit buzzy petrol tanks behind me I've sat on it <laughs> alright that's not where you want to be is it I don't know uh, it seems alright though obviously and um, Belt drive, yeah, belt drive, uh, not shaft, but obviously low maintenance, yeah, I assume they're reliable, I don't know a lot about belt drives, I remember Kawasaki used to do them, um, full tank of petrol, gear indicator, uh, 7,000 miles this, and that's about its price I think, 7,300, 7,600, something like that, um, Um, but we'll have to see how we get on. Mirrors uh, a million miles away. Uh, don't know quite how I'm going to adjust that, but I am going to have to adjust um, the the left one. Yeah, I am because I can't. Uh, it's looking at the sky. Yeah, so boring traffic, you don't want to see all this. So I'll probably cut a lot of this out, to be honest. Can I reach it? Oh, I can just about reach it. Yeah, marvellous. That's better. We get in there. There we go. But I've got to say, it's very smooth. Very comfy. Um, Slightly forward position, uh, as you know, I'm a gangly sort of person. <sighs> what I've got to say is, Mrs. All Year Motorcycle, she'd like me to buy this. She would, simply because it's a BMW. Yeah, German technology. She likes a bit of uh, German technology, does uh, Mrs. All Year Motorcyclist. Her BMWs, her VWs, Mercedes, yeah. That's the sort of thing she likes. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut here because this is boring getting through the traffic and I'll put you back on when we get on the A14. Yeah, marvellous. So, here we are, just going on the A14. I'm going to start on this because, you know, this bike for touring, this is where it's going to spend a lot of its time, isn't it? Roads like this. Um, it is very smooth. I'm not getting a huge amount of buffeting, but I'm only doing 60 miles an hour at the moment. Um, we'll see what happens quite a lot of buffeting around the helmet I don't know if you'll be able to hear that oh in fact me 
but it doesn't seem to affect the bike too much because it goes through it well it's just a bit noisy so we'll see what it's like over the Orwell Bridge because uh, that is really exposed it's a nice introduction to BMW I think yeah I think the last BMW I rode was probably uh, one I did without permission yeah my dad's yeah back in the early 80s yeah it's pretty windy up here we're getting knocked about quite a bit so uh, I'm not far off coming off and I've got to say the turbulence around my helmet is really quite a lot um, so if I had this bike I'd have to have um, one of those little screen extenders or a different screen I think yeah that'd be the answer um, but the way the bike goes um, it's faultless yeah it's completely faultless um, so I could either get shorter or put a taller screen on because I've got to be honest the wind noise is not acceptable for me but we'll, we're gonna see what it's like on the quieter roads you know where you're not you're not exposed and you're not going quite as fast I mean the handling straight as a nut so look at that it just goes round doesn't move absolutely faultless gearbox smooth that belt drive very direct very smooth yeah um, suspension I'm going to be interested because it's dead comfy on the A14 it's dead comfy on here but I have hit one or two bumps and I found it quite hard um, it can be adjusted uh, it did have the luggage on but I got them to take the luggage off before I went out because I didn't want the luggage on there didn't need it um, um, so yeah so we're on our way down to the Suffolk Road um, we'll not go down to the boat yard um, but primarily because I've pushed for the time not for any other reason and the Suffolk Road's bumpy enough and so it's uh, this road down here yeah um, so we'll get a rough idea what it's like and apart from the noise it's not too bad it's riding these bumps um, pretty well I don't know if you can see the mirrors shaking that tells you how bad the bumps are but the bike itself and the seat isn't too bad no, it's marvellous it's got a horse box in front <laughs> yeah, marvellous um, yeah, no, it's dealing with these pretty well but it's dead easy at slow speeds handling um, it feels well balanced it's got uh, three ri uh, rider modes uh, it was in rain when I got on it so I'm guessing the last person that went on it oh that's marvellous um, the last person that went on it uh, was in the rain <laughs> yeah uh, so I put it into road 
um, it's nice and dry so here we go Suffolk road test as you know horses small people large people bicycles motor cars there's a person marvellous with his camera here's the motor car he's not going to pull over god that would have been a good spot wouldn't it lots of motor cars marvellous um, yeah it rides these really well I mean it <laughs> I'm quite impressed really what about here can we stop here do you reckon that looks like a good spot doesn't it look at that What do you think? BMW, yeah, F800 GT. It's marvellous, isn't it? Don't know what you can see. Uh, picked a bad spot, didn't I? But it's the spot I picked. Splendiferous. It does, you know, it's classic touring motorcycle, isn't it? It does look well. It feels like it's built really well twin Brembo's at the front stopping you very good back brake feels a little bit weak to me um, but that could just be me look at it it's, look how that disc is it's sort of inside the wheel well, I don't know if that's something to do with a belt drive or not um, petrol tank here <laughs> you can get used to it I suppose fascinated don't know what's under there easy access to the engine I'm guessing Mickey Mouse mirrors out on stocks, yeah, marvellous. Um, pretty good, what you can see, because they're so wide and out there, yeah, no trouble at all. Like I say, it's got luggage, taking the luggage off, yeah, I didn't want it on there getting in the way. Sound is lovely, yeah, it's pleasant, that's what I'd say, that's what I'd say about it. The sound is pleasant. Yeah, very acceptable. Little front wheel, mud guard covers everything up. Don't know what it'd be like to clean. I should imagine it'd be alright. It's not a lot of money, is it? Seven and a half thousand pounds for a BMW. You know. Um few is out. It's only done seven thousand miles. It's nothing. Yeah. Not a bad looking bike. Traditional looking touring bike, I think. Um yeah and as i probably bought one of those for commuting backwards and forwards to cambridge i think maybe i don't know would i um it would certainly have done the job i haven't heard any bad reports about them don't know how many brake horsepower it is it's got <laughs> stacks of power ample for touring uh like i say mrs all year motorcyclist she'd love this she'd love me to have this yeah She'd be having me get rid of the Kawasaki, yeah, Wendy. Getting her gone down the road and getting this. That's what she'd do. Um, she's got these big bar ends, I don't know. Um, little round thing here for the brake, that's a bit disappointing. But it's, it's fairly decent. Yeah, I like it to ride. I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I was expecting this to be below Marvellous, and I don't think it's going to be, but we'll have to see, yeah. So, this, this is Suffolk Road, we haven't stopped any here before, have we? Look at it, it's beautiful in the trees, and down there to the river, just look at that. It's just, what a view, big boat going down there, we're going to be sailing down there tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> Marvellous, just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, right, anyway, back to the bike, which also has a centre stand, yeah, forgot to mention that when I was walking around it. Um, so we'll get back on, and you know what's coming next, the census test. So let's see, ignition on, clock switch around, marvellous. Oh, and it's, it's off, oh, a bit of a clunk into gear. Oh, 
Oh, it's very smooth. Like I say, it deals with these bumps. No trouble at all. Yeah. So, the senses. That car is in the middle of the road. So, onto the senses. Um, taste, as usual. <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, not even after a couple of beers. I wouldn't, no. Um, smell. Um, yeah, it's fine. Hot metal, hot plastic on a hot day. Yeah, no smell of rubber, no smell of oil, no smell of petrol. It's marvellous. Yeah. It just deals with these bumps. Oh, look at this, a dog. It's not the same unless you see a dog. Marvellous little dog. Um, so, um, looks, it's traditional. I know it's not that old, it's four years old, um, but it's like a traditional bike isn't it, it's a traditional touring bike, yeah, a bit like the Kawasaki Z1000 and all that, you know, the touring version, yeah, it's that sort of mould, it's not the adventure mould that we've come to expect now from touring bikes. Um, it handles like a dream, it really does. Um, but yeah, to look at, that's what it looks like. And that is marvellous. It is, I know lots of people oh, will, will, will disagree, but I think it's a splendid looking motorbike. I've seen other BMWs and I think they're pug ugly. I do. But this isn't bad. Uh, maybe it's because I'm a bit old fashioned. I don't know. Um, uh, so yeah, so that's the looks. Um, to touch, yeah, it's quality. <laughs> it's got its quality. It's a BMW. It might be the baby BMW, but it's still quality. Oh, we're going down now. I was going to follow that Mini then. <laughs> um, yeah, it feels quality. Um, even though this isn't real, um, I'm fascinated by it. And I, you know, if you think the Honda NC750, they put a, a little compartment in there, but on here, they've done nothing. Yeah, um, as far as I'm aware. Uh, maybe if someone's watching it, they've got one, or they know, they could let me know. But I certainly don't know what's in there. Um, instrumentation, again, traditional. It's got a very old fashioned looking um, little display over there on the right, but you know, it's functional, I can see it. Um, so yeah, so to look at, uh, I, I, I'm going marvellous to bloody marvellous, I am, I know. Uh, I couldn't decide, if you remember we introduced Ruddy Marvellous and I, whether that was just for polite company but I don't, I don't never in polite company except for when Mrs Ollie and motorcyclist about um, so I'm going to put Ruddy Marvellous as just before, just below Bloody Marvellous and I'm going to say this is Ruddy Marvellous yeah, it's the first bike that's been Ruddy Marvellous to uh, look at yeah, sound uh, sound is going Ruddy Marvellous as well Um, you know, it's functional. It's not a bike that you're going to want to be over loud and rip roaring. I like the idea of the um, uh, of the belt drive. Yeah, it's a bit worrying, <laughs> but I'm told they're dead reliable, so I'll I'll go with that. Um, and then. Uh, what have we got? Uh, feel, uh, 
so we've already done quality, sound, uh, to look at, taste and smell. We've done it, we've done all five. Yeah, um, so it's looking marvellous to bloody marvellous. Um, and how does it make me feel? So we'll, we'll have to do that, but I'm going to do that in a little while when we get off the A14 the other end before we get back to the, the shop because it's quite a hike down here um, and it's quite noisy and it's quite difficult to talk with it but I think that could be altered with a, a bigger screen yeah I don't know but anyway I'll catch you the other side So, something interesting. Now, I must have underestimated the wind against us going uh, the other way on the A14. Because coming that way, uh, it was uh, half the number of decibels. Yeah, marvellous, eh? Um, much quieter. So, uh, Maybe that was it. Just the, just the, just the wind direction. I don't know. Um, so that was quite, quite a relief because uh, I wasn't looking forward to the noise. Um, through here, I mean, it, it goes so well. It really does. But of course. You'd expect that from a BMW, wouldn't you? Um, they're not cheap. Um, I've no idea whether seven and a half thousand pounds is a lot of money for this or not. Um, if I was riding it blind, if yeah, not knowing its age or its make or anything, um, I'd say, well, yeah, it's a bit old-fashioned looking. Um, it's dead easy, it's so but well balanced, look at that. I haven't had to put my feet down at all. That is marvellous. Um, the engine noise is sweet, that's what I would say. It's sweet, it's not special, it's just nice. Um, so, how does it make me feel? I would say Ruddy Marvellous sums it up. I think that's where it is. Ruddy Marvellous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a, a, a new level and it's between Marvellous and Bloody Marvellous. Yeah. I mean, it could even be Bloody Marvellous. If I had it for longer, we'd have a better idea because it feels like it's a very useful bike. Gearbox is a bit clunky. I think it needs an oil change and I will say that and they'll probably say, oh, it's had one, or it's not had one, or they're all like that. Um, is that temp That temperature must be engine temperature, 93 degrees, uh, because there's no way that it's 94 <laughs> degrees here. Um, but yeah, uh, BMW F800 GT, seven and a half thousand pounds, about the price of the top of the range BSA apparently. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, what do you think? It's uh, you know, it's not a bike for everyone. It's a bike for a job, I think. A uh, bit of touring, really. Yeah, certainly touring in this country. Um, you know, you could get to Scotland quite easy. Lake District. And, <laughs> but the odd thing is, it's not that old. But if you saw those clocks and everything, you'd think it was older, wouldn't you? That's what I find fascinating. Um, It has actually got cruise control, yeah. I think that's what that is, cruise control. That's marvellous, isn't it? 
so it is all set up for touring yeah it's got heated grips seven and a half thousand pounds uh, BMW do you want to own a BMW um, and uh, the, the strange thing is I've driven BMW cars and this feels like a BMW it does yeah so uh, yeah top max to BMW for putting the stamp on the on the vehicle yeah marvelous so there we go BMW F800 GT we'll see our fond farewells when we actually get to um, uh, back to the shop yeah marvelous So through the traffic, it's uh, it's been excellent. Yeah, so well balanced, so easy, um, and comfortable. So you know, whenever you get to your journey, if you're using it as a tourer, whenever you get to your journey, it's going to be a doddle to handle and move about and deal with the traffic. Uh, it's going to be marvelous. Yeah, so looks a bit quieter. It was uh, really busy earlier when I got here. They're just selling bikes. People are just buying bikes non-stop. It's quite biz bizarre, really. Oh, look at that. Drive Thruxton. Marvellous. So, we'll pack it over here. There you go. That's it. Well, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? It's got that BMW badge look. Yeah, marvellous. F800 GT. Quality build. Uh, goes really well seven and a half thousand pounds for a BMW it's not bad is it it's not bad at all <laughs>